we're good we got audio do i look good of course i look good <laughs> What's up, snitches? How's your week been? It's nice to see all your smiling faces again. Welcome back to the C4 Podcast. It's your good-looking host, Casey, because I got mom's jeans. Today, we're going to talk about what to do when your wonderfully talented idiot brother forgets to bring the tent stakes. Roll the intro. We got an intro. All right, so you're in the woods. There's no tent stake. You're SOL. You got a tent or a tarp. Nothing to tie them down with. So what you're going to do is you're going to look around you in your natural environment. You want to find a stick that's like between this big, like that's about, it's about three quarters of an inch, anywhere from three quarters of an inch to about like an inch and a half, somewhere in that range. Okay. Yo. Do you know how big an inch and a half is? Yeah. <laughs> I know how big inch and a half pipe is. But either way, I don't care how you describe it, but an inch and a half. <laughs> that Yeti mic is not an inch and a half. We, we're, we're leaving this part in. <laughs> inch and a half. Do you know how big an inch and a half is? Let me just come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to look around you in your natural environment for some down wood about the size of your thumb, which is great for me because I got big thumbs, which means it's going to hold a lot of weight. You're looking for something that's either green or dry. What you're really trying to avoid is punky wood. Any wood that when you rub the surface, stuff falls off or you can break it between your hands very easily. Like that stuff's just going to leave you in a parachute like middle school instead of a tent in the middle of the night. Now you want to take that and you want to drag it over to any good log to sit on, really. Take out your silky review to come or any other inferior saw you might have in your bag. Take your silky and you're just going to cut the end off of it. You want somewhere between 8 to 10 inches for a stake. Maybe more if it's soft ground. Like if you're kind of a marshy boggy area, just cut it 4 feet because you can push that in. Like a prison bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Like a prison bathroom. So once you have your length of raw wood, you're going to take a cutting instrument like the um, M48 Tomahawk that we just happen to be doing a review for sometime next week. You know, if you, if you like things like that, you might want to check it out. You're going to cut the base of that at an angle somewhere between two and 200 times, depending on how round you like your point. After that, you're going to take out your same glorious silky. Ready <laughs> to come. We're not biased at all. Uh, you're going to cut about somewhere between between a quarter and a third of the way through the stick. You're just gonna cut one notch. And then you're gonna take out a knife if you, for instance, have like a uh, Cold Steel Drop Forge Hunter that the idiot brother bought you for your birthday and you're really excited about because it's a dope gift. You're gonna hold it about an inch below the notch you cut and you are gonna use that knife to slowly shave into that notch. Now what the notch is gonna do is it's gonna give you a back for your knife to fall into so that you know when you've shaved enough and then you just move those shavings out of the way and continue down until you are shaving to about the bottom of the notch. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a nice place to put your rope when you tie your tent down. And that's it, that's the whole shebang. If you need to know what to do with the stake after that, we're not the channel, all right? That's it for today. How'd I do? I killed it. His opinion doesn't matter. Recap? Oh. Recap! Recap! Recap. Cut your point, notch it, 8 to 10 inches, you're good to go. Thanks for watching this week's video with the C4 Entertainment. Get ready for some sick in the next week. I think I'm gonna do a little hey over that. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you hated this video, inflict your friends with it. You had to watch it, so should they. You guys have a good week now. We'll see you next time. Suck it, Mrs. Thompson, you're the worst fifth grade teacher ever.